Good afternoon, everybody, and yes, it is afternoon. It is about 4 o'clock. 4.17. Hello, kitty. Not going to work today. Today's my day off. Woohoo! I am so happy about having a day off. I just did a... Uh, goodness, kitty, what? I just got done with uh, six days in a row. And that was... Uh, that was rough. Frankly, that was... Oh, that was a trip. Friday wasn't bad because I was at the old store. Then Saturday, Sunday, they wanted me there at 2, which is two hours early. Plus, you know, brand new store, so they're just getting their asses kicked. I was getting my ass kicked. Uh, Monday was... It was alright. still really busy. Uh, Tuesday... Tuesday blue, uh, they had me working with two people that one was straight up brand new and the other didn't have a lot of cook experience. So, uh, that led to a very, very, very rough night. Then the fact that I, they had them go home early, it's like, no, you're screwing me over now. <laughs> Don't send them home early. And then yesterday was actually not bad. It uh, it went pretty smoothly. So to be there an hour early, but you know, went it went pretty smooth. Can't really. What is your deal? Can't really complain. But you know, now I get a day off. I want to show a couple of things. You see these here? Oh, this one's upside down. These are cards for uh, recognition. This one says, I uh, make the colonel proud to me from, I believe that was, that was not Carlos, actually. That person who wrote this, actually, is like, uh, in the hierarchy of KFC, it's like president, vice president, someone or other, and then the dude that wrote this. Yeah, unfortunately, I do not remember his name. It was a very, very, very long day. Says, uh, thank you for training, Alex. Or, yeah, thank you for training, Cook Alex, and ensuring all chicken something, 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 you rock. <laughs> I can't read that. It's so, squ it's so squiggly. Can't really blame that, though. My handwriting's not much better. And this one is more of a recognition card. To James, Mamba recognizes you for taking control of the kitchen, calling the shots. Making sure we don't run out of chicken. Thank you for everything you do from Jose. Jose being another big boss, actually. Not as high up as the other dude, but uh, still uh, higher up. And I got a cool camo hat. I don't know if you can see that. I uh, actually probably should. I got a cool camo hat. Uh, I have my pins on it because I can actually wear this as opposed to my... Uh, my zinger hat there. Hello, kitty. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. They they said it was like one of like one of a kind, so that means there's probably a few thousand of them floating around. But given the fact that there's probably a lot of people that work at KFC, that's still really cool. Not quite as comfortable as the other hat. Don't get me wrong, but uh, it's cooler. It is a lot cooler. Yeah, and as far as big bosses go at work, I. Uh, a lot of them have been like super happy with me which you know that's like that's awesome I it's a little not a little it's incredibly flattering honestly and it's very very needed considering the last few days have been incredibly trying especially on my patience but uh yeah that was definitely good to hear and I uh, few of them actually want me to become manager like, my boss, like, my actual boss has been wanting me to be manager for a very, very long time. Now, like, m most of, if not all, the big bosses that I've actually worked with have agreed that I should become a manager. And now I actually have management ex management experience because I, I have cooks that are under me. Now I have people to, I don't want to say boss around, but... I have an actual kitchen to run now. 
instead of it just, you know, only being me running around everywhere. So, you know, that, that's definitely, it's definitely been good for me. I uh, definitely been, definitely been a learning experience, but, you know, like, I know, I definitely know what needs to be done. And now since I have experience commanding people, I might do it. I mean, if what Ed says, it's a very substantial pay raise. I kind of did the math, and I would be making more than double what I do now. At least yearly. I don't know if that's salary or what. Yeah, I would be making more than double. Which, that is awesome, frankly. Still a little below the median Colorado average. Or the median Colorado average. That's a redundancy. The median Colorado income. But, uh, not by much. Not by much. Especially considering I'm, you know, 19. I got plenty of time to plenty of time to make more which that does lead me into an issue I would probably be working more and what's gonna happen to YouTube don't I don't I don't know I mean I can definitely still work on it and once I uh, once everyone starts stops freaking out about there being a new KFC things are gonna slow down so I'm gonna have more energy to do stuff when I'm at home I'm actually gonna see if I can get my days off in a row so I can I don't even remember what I was saying. But yeah, once uh, once everything slows down, I'll be more motivated to do stuff at home. They've just been kicking my ass. Honestly, it's kind of a bit scary. But, you know, I can do it. I can definitely do it. I got this kitty here to help. Ah, uh, and she is shedding like nuts. We're gonna shave you down. You got that? You got that? Okay. Ah! Mmm. Her claws hurt. Mmm. As for what I've been doing on my downtime, well, nothing. Uh, the last few the last few days, you know, they've just been working me hard, so I've been sleeping pretty much all day until I go to work, which, unfortunately, not how I would like to spend my day. God, they're kind of here everywhere, Jesus. Not how I would like to spend my day, but I, uh, I was just so tired, just so tired. I, I just couldn't help it. Today, though, I have a little more motivation to do stuff. That's actually why I'm vlogging. Because I'm going to be, you know, motivated to actually, you know, edit it. I wanted to show a few things. I've changed my desk setup a little bit. So right here, I got a uh, Retron 5. I'll move that. That's my Vita case. Got a Retron 5 here. You can't really tell all that well. There we go. I'm using my phone as a, as a light. Got my Retron 5 right there. Then down here... I have my PS4, my 360, and my PS3 all hooked up. What are you doing? You never do this. Why do you do this now? Is it because I'm not paying attention to you? Uh, she is such a brat. But if we look over here, I got all my stuff set up. Or at least a bunch of games. Got those, and I got some retro stuff there for the Retron. Tell me if you notice a pattern with these. Notice how most of them are either Dark Souls or, uh, I mean, Souls-esque or action games. Yeah, I like action games, and I love Dark Souls. So, of course I'm going to have those down here. I actually got Dark Souls 1 for the 360 in the mail the other day. I got Dark Souls 2 for both the PS3 and the 360 in the mail the other day. Why did I order both? Because... I'm crazy. I collect. I like wasting my money. And it is the evening. I'm gonna make this quick. For a first day off in a week, I'd say getting a load of laundry done was a success. Seriously, I did a load of laundry. I really needed socks. Actually, that brings me up to something interesting. I bought new socks, right? They're a little small, but that's, that's fine. Um, because, you know, I can still fit my large feet into them. Thanks, Mom. These are supposed to, like, wick, wick away mo moisture. Uh, like, wick away moisture 
to help uh, keep your feet dry. I gotta tell you something. It works. It really, really works, and I am incredibly impressed. Bought six pairs for eight bucks. It's a little, little on the pricey side, but normally they were like fourteen bucks. Um, but yeah, worth it. Very, very worth it. These, uh, these work so well. Anyways, let's do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I got a lot to edit. Not a lot, but you know. And I'll see you all tomorrow.